three, two, one, let's go. What's good, my beautiful channel family? Today is Wednesday, February 21st. It is another day the Most High has made. This is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Family, let me start the video by saying thank you. Thank you for tuning back in with us today. You guys are awesome and we love you guys. And before we get to this video, could you give it a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now family, while we're at End Time News Channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our Creator, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And family, that Son's name is Jesus, and He's coming back for His church soon. And family, that's facts. Now to today's End Times video. Okay family, got a very important video today. I'm going to ask if you can stick around to the end so all this information can come together. And if you feel led to, please share this video and help get this information out. Okay family, today once again, we're going to be looking at the upcoming solar eclipse that will happen on April 8, 2024. And I'm going to share with you something that is truly amazing. Family on so many levels, this is going to be a prophetic event. Okay, let's start by looking at this end time headline from the website endoftheamericandream.com that was published on February 19th. On April 8th, the Great American Eclipse of 2024 will cross over seven United States locations named Nineveh. Now family, I don't know what the odds of that are, but guys, that is very intriguing. We will get back to that family, but let's start by going back almost seven years to August 21st, 2017, and the last total solar eclipse we saw here in the States. Well family, that eclipse was also known as the Seven Salem Eclipse because the path of the eclipse crossed over seven U.S. locations named Salem. Salem, Oregon. Salem, Idaho, Salem, Wyoming, Salem, Nebraska, Salem, Missouri, Salem, Kentucky, and finally, Salem, South Carolina. Now, Salem is short for Jerusalem, and it's thought that's why so many early Americans chose that name for their communities. Now, family, Salem is also associated with witchcraft, especially in the early years of the United States of America, and don't forget, the Satanic Temple is located in a city named Salem. Now, family, the solar eclipse coming up on April 8th that comes seven years after the last solar eclipse, which is a foreshadow of the tribulation in itself. Well, what if I told you it will pass through seven cities in America named Nineveh? Family, check it out. All these states right here have a Nineveh in them. Texas, Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York, and all of them states, all them Ninevehs right there, will be in the path of the solar eclipse. And just seven years ago, it was seven Salems. Huh, interesting. Now family, what is the odds of that? Now I also want to note that the eclipse will also cross over a location named Nineveh in Nova Scotia. Now family, let me tell you why this is so significant and why this is a huge warning. Possibly the sign of Jonah and the last warning before the rapture of the church and the start of the time of Jacob's trouble. Now family, Nineveh in the Bible was an extremely unruly and pagan city, kind of similar to America today. So the Most High told Jonah to go to Nineveh, preach repentance, and warn them. But guess what? Do you know what Jonah did? Jonah was like, I want nothing to do with this. So he gets in a boat, and he says, I'm out of here. I'm fleeing. Well, what happens next? He ends up in the belly of a whale for three days. The whale throws him up. Where does the whale throw him up? On the shores of Nineveh. And family, it's at this point, Jonah begins to obey the Most High God. Jonah 3, 4 says this. On the first day of his journey, Jonah set out into the city and proclaimed, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. So you see, Jonah obeyed God and tells Nineveh to repent before the Most High God deals with the city. And Jonah prophesies to them 
They had 40 days to repent. And Nineveh repented. And for the time being, God spared them. They heeded to Jonah's warning. Well, family, what if I told you there was a total solar eclipse over Nineveh as Jonah gave the 40-day warning? So, back in the 19th century, ancient tablets were discovered that describe what is known as the Beer Sagal Solar Eclipse. Now, the path of totality of that eclipse went right over Nineveh, and a lot of people believe that eclipse coincided with the day Jonah gave the 40-day warning. But Jonah was in Nineveh when that eclipse happened. That particular solar eclipse showed Nineveh that Jonah was a prophet of the Most High God and wasn't joking, and it ultimately led to their repentance. Family, it's absolutely amazing how much America mirrors Nineveh. Family, this seven Nineveh solar eclipse here in the United States, I truly believe, is a 40-day warning, just like the last one was a 40-day warning in the days of Jonah. But Nineveh repented, and they were spared for a little bit. Will America repent? That is the question. The sign of Jonah is coming, and it's a 40-day warning. Now, family, if this eclipse is a 40-day warning from the Most High God, that means that the warning will expire on May 18th, 2024, the day before Pentecost, which is Sunday, May 19th, 2024. Now, family, what is the odds of that, guys? I'm telling you, that's significant. That's not a coincidence. You know, the Holy Spirit come down on Pentecost. Could the church go up on Pentecost after the 40-day warning? Hmm. And family, don't forget, these two solar eclipses, seven years apart, make a leaf tov over the United States of America, which literally means beginning and end. That's not a coincidence either, family. Family, in the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts on this video. And interestingly enough, May 18th is also International Astronomy Day. I didn't even know that existed. But do you guys think that this eclipse could be the sign of Jonah and a 40-day warning for the United States of America? Family, a lot of stuff going on with this eclipse. It enters the country at Eagle Pass, Texas, which is ground zero for the whole immigration issue right now. It makes an X over the United States of America. The seven Salem's, the seven Nineveh's, family, none of this is by chance at all. This eclipse also coincides with the end of Ramadan. And it's going to be one of the largest viewed events ever here in the United States of America. Millions of people are going to have their eyes on that eclipse, watching God's sun be darkened out. Is this the sign of Jonah? Is this a 40-day warning for the United States of America? At the end of them 40 days, at Pentecost, could that be when we meet our Lord in the air? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, family, we also know that in Luke 21, 28, it says this. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. What things, family? Things like solar eclipse, earthquakes, everything we're seeing go on in this world right now that we're living in. So, my beautiful channel family, this is why we keep on looking up, because we know our Messiah has not forgotten us. You know, Jesus was born of a virgin and lived a sinless, perfect 33 years. At the age of 33, he laid down his life for us on the cross, paid our sin debt on the cross, took nails in his hand, thorns on his head, took a beat and spilled his perfect, innocent blood for us. And then he laid in a tomb for three days, three days, three days, but death could not hold our Messiah. He defeated the tomb, he defeated the grave, and he ascended to go be with his Father, the Most High God. And he's coming back for his church soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. And family, that's facts. Don't waste no time, because Jesus is coming soon. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. No request is too small. No request is too big for our God. And family, that's also facts. 
And if you want to make a donation to the Watchman Adam news channel, there's ways you can do so. Look in the description box below. It's greatly appreciated and needed if you can. But family, as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. And we thank you so much for your prayers. We be praying for you guys too. We're a family. And family, if anyone has any praise reports, please drop them in the comment section below. We did that the other day and it really touched my heart reading your praise reports. So if you got any, drop them below. And family, I'm going to try to have an end time news update done tomorrow. So be looking out for it. Well, family, till next time, Brother Watchman Adams signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you and remember, let's go or pot so. Take care, family.